Welcome back home, indigo children, star seeds, and light warriors. Today, I am excited to announce a new monthly tradition of hosting a Q&A session. During these sessions, we will collaborate on selected questions from my book, The Indigo Code, and questions from listeners about the episodes I've released. Let's work together to explore and expand our understanding of this fascinating subject. So, I'm your host Richard Lionheart. Let's put the tower. Roger Brownsville, 48, Malta. I have seen your podcast, and in several episodes, you've talked about the meaning of colors in logos, flags, graphic designs, home designs, and more. Your analysis of the LGTBQ occult flag was spot on. Can you share your insight about the meaning of the flag of the invented state and people, Palestine? My answer here is, sure. I would love to address this issue. Now, as we can see here in the image of the seven energy centers within the human body, each center has its own color. Now let's compare this to the flag. Can you see the differences here? From the flag design alone, I see that it's the cabal or the Illuminati's agenda. Now, you might be asking. How do I see that here? After all, there's no text here. Now, let us first address the red color. On the human body diagram, we see that red is the sex chakra and is connected to the root chakra as well, which is the lowest center. The base chakra, root, is at the bottom. This is the lowest point of the third density spectrum, where we are as immortal souls experiencing a period of learning and growing here on planet Earth. Let's take a look at the flag. Where is the red color located? It's on the left side, the feminine side which is the womb of creation. The form of silent war of these entities you called Palestinians is by feminine vessel, having as many people as possible, so they will outgrow western declining childbirths. We can conclude here that this color position is skewed, and false. Red light has a frequency of around 430 terahertz. Next. Where is the green color located on the flag? As we can see, it is at the lowest marker, right at the bottom. And where is the green color located in the energy centers? It is located at the heart chakra this is a major portal for ascending to the fifth dimension, and manifesting your desires using emotions correctly. Green noise is around a frequency of 528 hertz. The green or the heart chakras are at the lowest priority for them. It's all messed up here, just like when we talked about the LGTBQ motherfuckers. I will post the link to the episode in the description box below. Again. I can go deeper and deeper into the secrets of the colors, and the chakras. The reason I'm not doing it today is to give you enough space to find your own clues. Yes. In my show, I put you to work. There's no free ride here. Let's move on to the next color, white. Located just in the middle. The purity of light is stuck between the green and the black. But that's not all, the white color is more invaded by the red color, from the left side. That means that the light brotherhood and sisterhood are heavily targeted by this proxy occult of the deep state or the cabal. Let me ask you a quick question right now, do you see a pattern of how a starseed mind works? If yes, great. If you can't, just keep on watching. So, as we were saying, white is the representation of the unity of colors that contains all the other colors within. It's locked between two other colors. The white place here, in the flag, is also false and skewed. The human eye can only perceive a white color of 0.0005% of the identified range. Now, the final color here is black, and guess where they put it? Yep. You nailed it. It's on top, to represent the Black Brotherhood, the Orions, the Reptilians, and the Dracos that owns the elites of planet Earth on banking, politics, and education systems. Pharma, food, tech, social networks, mainstream media, religions, and more. They are signaling to you here in the flag that they wish for darkness will always triumph over the light. But, they know, and we know that their times are up. From 2024 and no later than 2030 the game will be over, and the reign of darkness will be gone. All the timelines will collapse into two main timelines, for ones who are awakened will shift into the new 5D and up Earth and the ones who remain sleepwalkers, just like the ones who identify with the flag. Now, you have a close and fresh look at how an awakened indigo child looks, analyzes, and explains things most people can't do. Awakening is a choice.